All I or IPB. What are they? What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If not, just uh, hit the like button, smash it right now, do something. I mean, you don't actually have to smash it. Let's jump immediately into the topic of today's video, which is compression. What does it mean? When it comes to shooting a video with Canon cameras, depending on the camera that we use, the compression of the file could be all I or IPB. What are they? For sure, these are not federal agencies. Okay, there are two different ways of compressing the file. One is all I. Basically, given that we shoot 24 frames per second, it takes every single frame, keeping all the details and compress each frame one at a time. So it preserves a lot of details. The other form of compression is the IPB that works in a different way. IPB takes one frame every four frames and keeps all the details contained in that frame. The remaining frames are processed based on the previous one and the next. So basically the camera just tries to guess what those frames in the middle look like. So you would say, well then of course all eyes is the way to go. IPB sucks, right? Not exactly. Let's see, for example, in many cameras we don't have all eye. The Canon M50, the Canon 90D, but also the new and expensive Canon R6 don't have all eye. They only have IPB compression. I don't have the R6, but I do have the Canon M50 and the Canon 90D. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you some samples from those two cameras, which is gonna be IPB, of course, there's no other option, and one with the EOS R in all eye. Check it out. but you may say it's not a fair comparison the 90D and the M50 when compared to the EOS R they're totally different right is the EOS R so much different just because of the all I that the M50 and the 90D don't have I don't think so it's a lot of other reasons they're just different cameras according to what I've heard a video file compressed in all I should retain more details therefore it should be easier to color grade, even to heavily color grade, without losing much quality. And in theory, the IPB file, after color grading, should look worse. I mean, according to what I've heard, but I'm no scientist. I want you to tell me what, what you think about it. So right now, if we want to see if there is any difference at all, or much difference, between all I and IPB compression, I'm gonna show you a sample of both shot with the EOS R because on this camera we do have IPB and all I and we will see which one is better or if there is any difference at all. Just check it out.
So what do you think about it? Do you find any difference? Do you think that all I is much better than IPB? Honestly, I don't really see much difference. So, you know, when you have to choose which camera to buy, there are different specs to take into consideration, such as if you prefer a full frame or a crop sensor body, DSLR or mirrorless, if there is a log profile like this C log, for example, the variety of frame rates, if you can shoot high frame rates in all resolutions, but honestly, this thing of the all eye IPB, it's not a game changer for me. The 90D is a great camera and I've never had a problem of sharpness or anything with it. Also the M50 is a great entry-level camera and the compression of the file is at IPB. And I have already mentioned that even the new Canon EOS R6 doesn't have all I, but IPB. Well, I don't know if there is any difference at all in quality between all I and IPB, but what I do know is that when you shoot an IPB, the file is three times smaller than if it was shot in all I. Well, that's a positive thing. So if you own a Canon M50 or a Canon 90D, don't consider not having the all I option as a minus, but rather as an advantage your files are gonna be lighter than if they were shot in all eye. And if you're planning on buying the R6, but you're a little bit shaky because of this IPB all eye thing, well, you have seen some footage here and there are many other videos out there showing this same thing. So what I can tell you is, don't worry about it. Well, I think that's it for today. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you ain't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.